because these numbers are changeable. You change a parameter here, you can find out what that difference is. And I'll tell you what that difference is. And um, there's all these different items. We're not going to focus on that today. We will come back to it in the next few weeks. But one item that I want you to focus, look at this, fan force ventilation cooling zone. That's the max, 160. We talked about that, right? 160 feet per minute. Okay. So again, this, this climate consultant walks through many of the climate data in a much more graphical way, easy to understand. Here for Phoenix, you can easily understand it's above the charts, 120 degrees or something, record high. Blew it out. Blew it out. And, uh, and again, uh, I'm not going to focus on too many of these, which is what you're going to do in your homework. This, this is diurnal shift. Diurnal shift is very, very important. Uh, you need to understand that in Phoenix. This is unique to Phoenix and other climates similar to Phoenix. We can take advantage of diurnal shifts by providing <laughs> thermal mass. Thank you. So I'm going to skip all this and just focus on uh, a couple of items. Okay, this is very important, right? And this is part of your homework. All right. Look at this. This is this is a typical sundial chart, right? There's nothing new to it. But the nice thing with this software is any dot, this is every single hour during December to June, June 21st, okay? During the winter equinox, win, uh, winter solstice to, to the summer solstice. Starting from December, moving upwards towards June, each line. So this is every single hour, and you see 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, so every single hour is a dot, right? The blue dot means it's cooler than comfortable temperature. Red dot is warmer than comfortable temperature. Comfort is the yellow dot. And this comfort comes from the definition we set, 68, 74. You stretch that comfort, you can see how this, how this changes here, right? Okay, and immediately you see, even during December to June, there's a lot of heating, right? A lot of heating in Phoenix. We need to solve this problem, right? Let's move over to the summer. You go to summer, boom, it's all red. It's all red. It's all red, right? There's a little bit. There's a little bit in December time. It's all red. So what this allows us to understand is not only the distribution of outside temperature, but also the time. And another nice thing with this is this shading calculator. I know it's busy, but it's very easy to understand. 10, 20, 30, 40 are altitude angles, meaning the angle from the horizontal to the sun. Correct? Right? Altitude angles. Okay. So let's say I have a window that's facing due south. It's directly on the south. Right? Bearing angle, due south. Bearing angle is the angle from the south. It's due south. Sorry, Bob. Okay. So due south. Right? So, uh... Sorry. That's okay. Okay. So, Ideally, in Phoenix, what do we want to do? If you have a window on the south side, ideally, in Phoenix, what do you want to do? Thank you. At least one sharp word. So, you want to shade it, right? But how far do you want to shade? In Trump's the angle of the sun. Right? But what, what month do you want to shade? Is it enough if you shade summer month? Because that's June. But look at what happens. September, it's still freaking hot. At 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's still freaking hot. Okay. Right? So when we go down to September, October, it's still hot. Right? Look at November. It's due south. It's due south. November, look at that. It's, it's nice. It's okay. Let's say October. Right? What is this? This is the line that we want to shade. Right? that 
All right, so September is 50. October is that line. So if you do 40 degree angle, which means that if you have a shade that projects out of the window, so that the tip of the shade to the bottom of the uh, wall, that altitude angle is 40 degrees, you're done. You are solving the problem. Right? Don't it's the building, though. Wait, oh, we have a solution for that. <laughs> what if it's not due south? Though? Right. So, let's say you it's know, you 30. Want seven Chris Brown building, seven degrees off. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Okay. So, let's say we are 30 degrees okay, 30. due on the east of south. Again, if we want to understand what, before you get into this, first understand what you're trying to block. Okay. Sometimes the more east or west you go, you cannot block. Okay, so just accept that. You cannot block. Otherwise, you have to put something in front of your window. Yeah. Right? So, so understand what you want to block first before we keep moving these things. So let's say on the on the east side, our classes start at eight o'clock. Okay, if you have an east facing window, and our classes start at eight o'clock, look at eight o'clock. 8 o'clock. When do our classes start? August. September. August, 8 o'clock. That's our classes, right? It is pretty, pretty hot at that time. So what do you want to do? 50 degrees. So that for the east window, if you have a 50 degree line, that's going to shade it. Just because it is at the 30 degree shift, right? Other than that, you wouldn't be able to protect east and west, right? Yes, correct. So if you, if you provide a 30 degree altitude, you're only shading below this, right? If you provide a 40 degree altitude, you're shading anything below this. 50, anything below this. Oh, no, 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 it's the opposite. Sorry, it's the opposite. Too many people. Okay. So, yeah. So if you provide 80, which is close to having nothing, then you only are blocking a little bit in June after the sun goes beyond 12 o'clock. So, so that's the angle. You're talking about the 80-degree angle. Yes. From the tip of the window shade, window shade to, to the, the bottom of the bottom of your window? Well, the bottom of the window. The bottom of the window. So we're trying to change the window, not the whole wall. Right. 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 So, um, so it depends on how deep your window is as to how far your shade is. It's supposed to go to the ground because of the angle of the sun, not the bottom of the window. It's a, it's a good point that so we're trying to shade the, the window, rest, not the wall. We want to direct sunlight to penetrate into the building. We'll let the R value of the wall take care Marty, of the direct sunlight to the rest of the wall. Yep. All right, so I'm not going to bore you with any more of this. Uh, one last item that I want to show. This is something that we'll keep coming to every single this week. Right. right, right. Look at this. With the defined 68 and 74, 11% of the time in Phoenix, will be comfortable. Outside temperatures are comfortable. Wow. That's not this very much. Is, that's not very much. Only 11%. So are you willing to stretch your comfort? If you do, that number will increase. Okay? So I just want to make that point. And we will come back to each one of these strategies during our next week's session. So if you don't mind spending another five minutes with me, let's just go through. Now, that's in short, short sleeves and no wrestling. Yes.